Hey guys, hope you're all well. Thanks for voting, those of you that did vote. And um, yeah, the uh, Ravel monogram kit is the winner. So you're going to see the 70 second scale kit get billed in a beginner's video series. It was, uh, if in case you didn't know, we had a vote between the monogram 170 second scale kit you see there. There's two of them and the Tamiya 100 scale kit. And uh, yeah, 12 to 8 it was the vote. So 12 people voted for the monogram, 8 people voted for the, the Tamiya kit. Um, so yeah, 9,000 subscribers and 20 volts, 20 votes. So uh, yeah, that was a bit of a shocker really. I was expecting more than that, but never mind. Um, I guess the B52 isn't everybody's cup of tea. So um, I'll be starting a build video on that very, very soon for beginners. Uh, before I do the actual build, we'll have a look at the kit and we'll have a look at tools and everything. So this is going to be a beginner video series using very, very basic tools. Um, very basic. I'll, I will be using Infini sanding sticks and I'll probably use a couple of the Phil Flory uh, skinny sticks as well. Um, I'll be using a couple of different cements. I'll be using a couple of different cutters, a couple of different knives. Just basic stuff that anybody can get off the shelf wherever they are in the world. And, um, you know, there'll be no silly modifying, no scratch building and stuff. There may be, you know, sort of, I know that where the wing spoilers fit in the wings on that monogram kit, it doesn't look very nice. No point in building a model that's not going to look nice. We'll look at how we're going to make an improvement without using too much technology, skill or, or money. So um, that's the idea. So, uh, yeah, thanks for voting. So before thanks. we move forward, um, I just want to add in this little segment of video because a few people have mentioned they would like to build the model as well. So this monogram Ravel kit has been in many many different boxes in different color plastics from different manufacturers it's the same model all the way through it's just the plastic changes um, I believe there's even codes on the model that says a part number in grey and a part number in in green um, I believe there was also a version that came in silver I'm not sure so um, let's have a look through this and uh, and then we'll come back so here we go, 1968, original boxing of the kit, um, even included a tube of glue, beautifully packaged, motor sound and everything. Uh, I've done a review of that if you have a look back. And then in 69, along came the, the change of box lid, that was basically about it. 1973, changed the box lid again, and I believe they got rid of the motor and everything, and I think this was changed to grey plastic. 77, same box art, but this time was a conglomeration with Bandai. Hopefully you can see there's some Japanese right in there. 86 saw so a box front change again and then in 87 we got the X-15 uh, experiment and aircraft with the B-52 which was an absolutely beautiful kit really well sought after. 89 another box front change I believe it changed to black plastic I'm not sure and then in 1992 a Hasegawa monogram conglomeration and note the uh, nose art on that one. Then in 95 grey plastic was back and this is the monogram boxing of the same kit and then in 98 we got a um, Ravel monogram boxing of the same kit and then in 1999 we got this one the long box version I noticed that nose art is back again and then um, 2004 I've never seen this kit in the flesh but if you notice the shark's teeth livery is back again and then finally 2011 we finished off B52B with the X15 again so there you go, 13 boxings I showed you there, uh, and there's one I didn't show you because I can't find it. It's a monogram Mattel issue in 1970. I can't find the uh, image off the front of the box for that one, so I didn't bother showing that. But um, yeah, that's basically the background to this kit. So 1968, so it is actually now, what's that, 52 years old, coming up 53 years old, um, this kit. and. You know, as far as 172nd scale B-52 kits go, uh, in my opinion, it is still the best one. If you if you haven't already seen it, I did a video a series a while back, a long time ago, called Buffing Up on the Buff. And it compares the AMT uh, slash Italeri with the Ravel slash Monogram. Now I know it's slash Bandai slash Hasegawa um, and, the mon and the Model Collect kits. Um, by far... Uh, as far as overall shape goes and you know to the eye accuracy this kit is 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 the best the the AMT's got a um, bit of a funny looking canopy on it it's got a very very pointy nose uh, the engines in the H are way too small it's got a very very skinny fuselage at the back which looks stupid in my opinion 
um i've done a video on how to fatten that up as well and uh yeah and but it's got you know very very simple detail in it it's got no bombay detail this is the amt kit it's got no wing flaps whereas this one has got you know this monogram has got simple bombay detail simple flaps um, it's got movable spoilers you know it's it's still even though the model collect kit came out in like 2018 i think it was the, the the old monogram amt i believe is still probably the best one and you'll see a lot of people do conversions with them um, to build different models of the b52 and they will actually cut the nose off of something else and use it on the rest of the um b52d kit so there we go and in case you didn't know i'm also doing resin noses for early g's and h's and late g's and h's so um and they'll be for the model collect and the itinerary kits to correct them there's already conversions out there for the Ravel kit if you want to convert them um so uh anyway hope you've enjoyed this little video it, it, as i say it's just a little snippet just to put together to um to sort of whet your appetites and let you know what the results were and where we're going uh later today uh today being saturday the first of august my god august already i need to do a thank yous video as well don't i uh yeah so later today i will start off with a quick look through the kit and a quick look at tools as i say for beginners so you know all you before you start getting on your keyboard and moaning about showing tools and stuff remember this is for beginners you can always turn off you can turn your computer off you don't have to watch and listen to my boring meanderings so um anyway thanks for watching and i'll see you all later Bye for now.